Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. This is 20IQJ. So this week's video we're going to take a look at this digital microscope that I brought from Amazon. Around about £46. I was hoping to use it when I practice some soldering work. Make it a bit easier to see the components that I'm trying to solder. Now I have got a magnifying glass with a light around it. But when you put it on the desk, if it slightly moves, it wobbles and makes you feel a bit seasick. Well it does to me anyway. So I thought, I'll give this a try for 46 quid. Is it going to be any good? Now it's got a 1 to 600 times zoom, it's got a 4.3 inch LCD screen, battery life lasts about 6.5 hours, so would this thing be any good? Let's take a closer look. Okay, so the base, all made out of metal which is good, the stand, all made out of metal, is held together by these two screws there and you've got your four rubber feet. Now these dolls here, raise, and, raise the unit up and lower the unit to get a better zoom. Dial at the back here, we'll lock this into place, stop it moving. And this dial here, and here, locks the main unit into place, stops that from moving. Now on the front of the unit, you've got your power, menu, mode, left, right, you're okay. This dial here which focuses the image, you've got an LED switch there to turn the LED brightness up or down. Memory card socket, because it will record and take photographs to a memory card and you've got your socket there for charging so if I turn the unit on by pressing holding the power button we'll quickly go through the menu you can see there it's got zoomed in on the bottom of the unit or the base if I push menu get a bit closer you've got resolution date tag motion detection record function and EV menu again goes across, we've got the setup menu, you've got format, language setting, auto power off, screen savers, reset system, frequency, time setting, video rotate, fill light and version menu gets you back out of it. So here I've got a 4GB DDR3 memory stick or RAM stick, let's place it under the microscope. There you go, that don't look too bad. Put it around the other way so we can read that. If you want to make it a bit clearer, you can then zoom. It's blurry and that's a lot clearer. Let's go and get a smaller component. Look at that. Nice and clear that image. Let's see if we can get a bit closer with the camera. There you go, that's better. Get all that lot to make it a bit easier for when I do the soldering. If you zoom out and you adjust it, you'll see there the image is going blurrier. Zoom in again, adjust the focus. You see there, there we go, nice and clear. Zoom out, you can go higher. Blurry image, make it clearer by doing that, and you can then no problems. Look at that. So, for 46 quid, I'm more than happy. There we go, this cheap digital microscope that I got from Amazon, around about 46 pounds delivered. If you search about on eBay, you might be able to find it cheaper. But the base itself, all metal, which is good, the stand itself is all metal. The unit's a bit plasticky for my liking, but. £46, pound, I'm not going to argue, records to an SD card, 1 to 600 zoom, USB rechargeable, 6 hours battery life. Would I recommend this unit? Yes I would, because I'm just starting out in soldering, and you can get a magnifying glass that you clip on the side of the table, but I find that with the light, and when they move, they wobble up and down, and it makes you feel a bit, well, made me feel a bit seasick anyway. But something else I found out with this, if you plug it into the computer, now I'm not sure if it mentions this into the manu in the manual, I've not checked it, I've not bothered to read the manual, Plug into the computer, the word USB appears on the screen. And I used OBS on Linux to uh, view the image. It worked no problem. So I could do a live stream of the stuff under the microscope. So I could do a live stream putting things like your memory stick under there or your, your memory card under, 
under the microscope. But yeah, it worked on the computer. It didn't work on the webcam program cheese, but worked, seemed to work more or less no problems using OBS. Anyhow, if you found the video of some use, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, the other button seems to work too. But as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. 7-3.